New and inventive peace-building initiatives, like Generation for Peace, are making significant impacts in countries coming out of conflict all around the world. On our final report today, we take a look at another way to reach communities riven by war, the medium of radio, not just in terms of current affairs and news programs. Tarika spoke to Francis Rolt to tap into his wealth of experience by using radio as a means of conflict transformation. You specialize in conflict transformation through the medium of radio and your work has taken you to conflict areas around the world. Uh, can you start by explaining how, uh, in your years of experience, you have used radio as a tool for peace building? Well, um, I've worked in many places, as you say. Uh, I worked specifically in, for three years in Burundi, where there was a war going on. Um, and, and we produced a number of programs there uh, every week, uh, which tried to show each side, there were two sides, each side that the other was human. You know, in a conflict, people tend to uh, feel that the other side, the people on the other side are devils or very evil in some way. And, and we tried to demonstrate that actually they were just human beings like everyone else. They had the same desires and wishes. They wanted their children to go to school. They wanted peace. That was the, those were the two most important things for them. But somehow the two sides couldn't reach the point of agreeing on the peace. So once people realize that the other side, the people on the other side are human beings like them with the same desires and wishes and dreams, they begin to think that maybe peace is possible. And I think that's one of the, the main methods we use. You were telling me earlier that uh, you also work with radio dramas, soap operas, and that's really fascinating. But uh, realistically, how can programs such as these make a tangible impact uh, on the communities that you're working uh, for? Well, the thing about radio drama is that it's, uh, it can be tremendously popular. Um, uh, you know, in, in Nepal, we, I worked on a radio program there, a radio drama there, and um, within six months, it became the second most popular radio program in the country. Um, radio drama is emotionally uh, uh, attractive to an audience. And if you take people along with their emotions, they follow a story, maybe they follow a character who changes from one kind of person into another kind of person. So you're not giving an overt message, but you're helping them to understand the way in which this person changes their opinions, their attitudes, their behavior. And if you've designed it well, then the audience, the target audience, will feel that they are also changing their opinions and their attitudes and their behavior, and they will do that. So this was a, a really successful project in your opinion. Uh, what do you think made it work? I think what made it work was, was partly the, the, the sort of feedback mechanism we had, that the, the stories were largely coming from the communities uh, themselves, particularly in, in Rolpa, for instance, which was one of the main um, areas in conflict. Uh, we had a number of, uh, we called them community focal points, who, um, who collected stories for us, who gave feedback about the drama from the people they were listening to, people they were talking to every day. And they would say sometimes they didn't like this character or they didn't like that thing that was happening or they felt it should go in this direction or they didn't understand what was happening. And so we would have to adjust the story in some way, not always, but if we felt that they were perhaps right, uh, and it was clear that uh, in some way we weren't clear where the story was going either, then we'd have to change it a little. In your opinion, do you think media is utilized enough in peace building initiatives all around the world? No, I don't think it is really. I mean, I think that there is, there is a, a, a certain amount of media and peace building in the sense that a lot of organizations are working in this field, but they tend to uh, take the view that news and current affairs is what media is. And of course, there's a whole number of other formats uh, in newspapers, on television, and on radio, which don't fall into the category of news and current affairs. And uh, they don't use those categories. There's only a couple of organizations that do. And I think it's a great shame because, well, we've talked about uh, radio drama, that's one. But there's also kids' programs. 
Yeah, kids are very uh, um, important in the sense that they are going to grow up. They become the, the leaders. They become the influential people of tomorrow. And youth, young people, are the ones who are, A, most affected by conflict in the sense that they are the combatants, and secondly, the prime victims of conflict. So if they understand more about conflict and about how peace can come about, how conflict can be resolved, then you're beginning to move towards a situation where a country can resolve a, 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 a conflict itself. Of course, you know, media cannot resolve conflict. But what you can do is help a country or a, a group or a, a region begin to realize how it can resolve its own conflict. What kind of potential do you think radio has in, uh, as a tool for peace building in Sri Lanka? Well, I think, I think you know, radio is, is still very popular in Sri Lanka, even if television can, you can get television everywhere or very nearly everywhere. Um, you know, there's tremendous resources put into radio in this country, um, some of it commercial, some of it state, whatever. Um, and, and therefore, I, still think, I do think it's a, it has a great potential. Um, I don't think that potential is really being used at the moment, although I can't claim to be an expert on Sri Lankan radio. Um, and, and uh, you know, that's why I'm interested in working on a drama here as well. Um, and, 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 you know, I, although there are a lot of dramas on television and on radio, I think that um, some of them are not very high quality, and I would hope that the drama we're working on is going to be a high quality drama which will attract a big audience. Thanks so much for talking with me, Francis. Thank you. It is important to try and find new ways to build peace in a country at war. And I hope that our program today has inspired you to be a part of it. Like to make any comments? Then please write to us at Sri Lanka Today at yartv.net. Thank you for watching. Until next time, you have a good week. <laughs>